So Wharton leads them down the middle part of the racetrack. Here, Barter, our Heat 1 winner. He's right there with him. Back on board with Baines Ruddy in the mix here. My goodness. He's in the thick of it. He's on the front straight away now. Going on board with him going down into turn number one. Oh, he had the door shut on him there. The battle up front is on. Wharton in the Schmick Racing CRG. He leads away from Huey Barter in the Praga cart. Then it's Will Harper, Westbury. Allen in fifth now. So Kai Allen still pushing on. Tangus Giffen, Luke Pink, Marcus and Feather and Davison. Rounding out your top ten at the moment. Entertaining a little race starting to form here. Kai Allen starting to show some pace in that lifestyle. Schmick racing back CRG. Fastest lap of the race at 52.974. In fact, there's only two drivers in the 52s at the moment, that being Wharton and Allen, both out of the Schmick Racing Stable. Jack Westbury doing a pretty fair job back there in fourth spot. Another one has come through the Rotax ranks. Barta puts a foot down at 52.837. Goes marginally faster than James Wharton on that lap. Will Harper's in the 52s now as well. Westbury at 52.838. So he's only one one thousandth of a second slower than what Barta was in setting the fastest lap of the race. So still plenty to play for as the weekend rolls out. Here in the grand final of Pacific Kart Sport Mi Mini Max. Allen's jumped Westbury for fourth. Back to the start finish line they come. Bart is now susceptible to Harper, who's the quickest man on circuit. So this battle in three, with three laps to go. Is far from over. Oh no, we've lost one. That is Harper, the 66. He's pushed too hard and around he's gone. So Will Harper, he was in the mix for a top three position, sets the fastest lap and spins out. Meantime, Wharton still has Barter behind him, keeping him fairly honest. There'll be two to go when they come past the start finish line this time. Working lap number seven. Barter the fastest lap of anyone. Him and Wharton trading those fastest laps. Bit of action throughout the course of the field. Allen in third, Westbury fourth, Pink, Marcus and Giffen. Mains Ruddy, Feather and Davison. Two tenths of a second the gap was the last time they went through. They're on their eighth lap. They'll get the last lap board this time. Bart is the fastest driver on circuit. But Wharton doing a terrific job up the front. In leading the way. Back to the start line they come. One to go. We're back on board with Cody Mains Ruddy. Can really see the go kart at work with these onboard shots. It's great to see. 
So go cut distributes. All the weight and everything else. Meantime, last lap is up as Luke Pink goes fast. It's about one back in fifth. Wharton had four tenths up his sleeve when they came across the line. Looks like that is going to be enough. Unless Barter can pull something ridiculous in the next couple of corners. Pacific Kart Sport, Mini Max, heat number two. Coming around to the start finish line. It's going to go the way of James Wharton. Second place goes to Hugh Barter. Third place to Kai Allen, Jack Westbury. It's through in fourth spot. Then Luke Pink, Jonathan Markison, Cody Mains Ruddy from the back. Alex Angus Giffen, Ethan Feather, and Will Harper rounds out your 10. We'll take a short break here and be back with Rotax Light in their second heat of the weekend. <laughs> Pacific Cartsport offers a great range of carts and spare parts, servicing, race preparation and driver training. Get in touch with Dale or Adam today at pacificcarts.com. So we're back out on track here with Mini Max. It's been pretty entertaining from the youngsters as well. Four races left to go this afternoon. Don't forget, we'll be live streaming everything through rotax.com.au tomorrow. So jump on board. Make sure you check that out. We've got some cool on boards that we've been showing as well throughout the weekend. We've got the uh, big screen down in the canteen area set up as well. So if you do, are looking for a covered place to chill out and watch the action, you can come down and check out the uh, the big screen in the canteen area. Huey Bata, do it again. We will see. Been some pretty good racing from the Mini Maxes throughout the course of the weekend. Civic Kart Sport bringing you the Mini Max action here on Grand Final Weekend at Lincoln County Raceway. Will Harper lines up on the outside front row. Set for a start. Looking for the green. We've got it. They charge down into turn number one. James Wharton looking to fight his way forward. But it's the 66 of Harper who's got the best of the start. Barter in second spot in the Praga cart. Markinson's got himself into third. That's a promising start for him. start to sort themselves out on this opening lap nine laps on the board for our mini maxes here's Wharton up the inside for third oh look who's with him it's Kai Allen 
Number 26 in the lifestyle, CRG. He goes with his Shemek Racing teammate, and they bring with them. Looks to be the number two of Jack Westbury. So the racing between Wharton and Allen throughout the season has been nothing short of scintillating. It started about this time last year towards the back end of the Pro Tour and the AKC season. Meantime, Barter up the inside. So Huey Barter goes to the lead in this heat race over Will Harper. Getting back to the rivalry between Wharton and Allen. It kicked off towards the latter end of last season. Has continued this year. Has produced some great racing right across the countryside. As Hugh Barter leads away. Over Will Harper. Through the left hander they go. Gee, Harper got a good run there. I think uh, Huey Barter read a little bit wide coming onto the front straight away. Uh, and might have just got a little bit of an unsettlement going into turn number one as well. It hasn't affected him too much. These two have got to be careful though because they've got a green-eyed monster behind them, that being James Wharton in the Shemek Racing, number 13. Through the left-hander and onto the Rotax Max attack. Back straight away they go. Westbury back there in fifth spot. He's trying to fight his way forward. Then it's Connor Davison and Jonathan Markison. Markison's dropped back to seventh now. Was up as high as third early in the race. There's first, second and third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And a change for eighth. Cody Maines Ruddy doing a good job. Showing plenty of pace in that bright yellow. Number 69, PCR. Wharton sets the fastest lap of the race so far. A 52.754. Up through the left-hander at Mojo, they run. Barter leading the way over Harper. Wharton sitting back there in third spot, chasing down. Here's the battle. Not close enough. I thought that Harper might have had a crack there at Hugh Barter going through that passing opportunity. Thought better of it. Obviously wants to try and set him up somewhere else. Allen seems like he's dropped off the back of Wharton a little bit just there. Well, I'm no judge because he just went faster than him. Through the left hander, they run our top four. Looking very comfortable at the moment. Fifth place man, Jack Westbury. Trying to close the gap. Just can't do it. But look at Wharton in third place. All over the back of our second place man. And he goes for the big move. He can't pull it off at the top of the hill. Didn't cost him too much momentum, which is a positive for James Wharton. He's going to have to have a second stab here. Harper decided to give him the, the room. That gives him the opportunity for a swing back here onto the front stretch and see if he can get some momentum down at turn number one. Harper in the 66 for Benick. Looking very good. Up the inside he goes. Good stuff there. And Harper goes back to second. That sends Wharton back into the clutches of his old sparring partner in Kai Allen. Then Jack Westbury in the number two starts to come into play in our top five. Great battle going on for third, fourth and fifth here. Currently headed up by Kai Allen, the young Victorian. Wharton all over the back of him. Up the inside goes Wharton. That's given Westbury something to chase as well. So Allen's going to have to rethink what he does here. But these three have to be careful because the battle that's involved in Cody Mains Ruddy and Connor Davison will definitely have a sniff of what's going on in front of them. Cody Mains Ruddy's definitely had pace on board for the majority of of the weekend despite qualifying not going his way meantime barter is the fastest of anyone at the moment a 52 494 
has seen him open his lead out to eight tenths of a second over Will Harper. Harper's pulled clear of James Wharton. So I'll say they being Wharton and Kai Allen had their own inter-team skirmish. Will Harper just kept his head down. Had his eyes on the back of that number 68. Wharton sets the fastest lap of the race. 52-480. A 52-6 for Kai Allen. Allen going with him. Working lap number eight now. They'll get the last lap board. The next time they come past the start finishing position. You're watching the battle for third and fourth. James Wharton through the top part of the racetrack. He's got Kai Allen all over the back of him. These two races, both with CRG chassis, both out of the Shemek Racing stable, both with the same Rotax Max FR125 engine and Mojo tyres on board. Through the left hander they come. Onto the start finish line comes Hugh Butter to see he's got just 1,064 metres to go. Before he continues on his great form in his Rotax Pro Tour competition in season 2016 that we'll see him go overseas in just a couple of weeks time to represent his country at the Mode Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. You'll be able to watch all the action live and exclusive on rotax.com.au just as you can watch all the action